Affected by natural disasters and a declining population leading to a drop in ridership, JR Hokkaido has had to discontinue several railway lines in order to maintain its business. At this station, the platform and train are packed with people who have come to say farewell to the last train to run on the line. One route was partially closed due to tidal damage, and that section was discontinued without repair. Over the past five years, four of JR Hokkaido's lines have been discontinued. Across Japan, many railways have closed down. Because the older lines were often single track, they're not wide enough to become roads. Instead, they are commonly developed as walkways and cycling paths, or they are used for recreational pedal trolleys. In Hokkaido, local residents and companies have recently begun working on ways to utilize these discontinued lines. JR Hokkaido has also been working to incorporate ideas from outside the company in its use of the discontinued sites. In today's program, we take a look at the different initiatives currently being undertaken to utilize Hokkaido's discontinued railway lines. Earlier this year, Shikanotani Station on the Yubari branch line of the Sekisho line, which was discontinued in 2019, moved a step closer to being restored and used again when local residents established a company in order to revitalize the old station building to make it a central hub for the local community. Opened in 1901, Shikanotani Station was a key station in Yubari City, which was once a flourishing coal mining town. During its peak in the 1960s, more than 20 coal mines operated out of the city. At the time, the population thrived with over 110,000 people. In addition to the Japanese National Railways, three coal mining railways transported coal and passengers. However, in the 1970s, as Japan made the change from coal to oil, the coal mines began to close and the connecting railways followed one after another. In March 2019, the last remaining JR Sekisho line, the Ubari branch line, ceased operation, and Shikanotani Station closed soon after. However, three years after the line closed, a turning point came for the Shikanotani Station building. Establishing a company, a group of volunteers acquired the station building and grounds from JR Hokkaido. The 3,000 square meter site they acquired included the wooden station building and approximately 100 meters of track. To cover the transfer costs, including the cost of land surveying, the company had to pay approximately 1 million yen.
Led by Mr. Hashiba, who runs a restaurant in Yubari, and the proprietor of a store that sells railway goods, Mr. Yasuda, the company is working to restore the station building. During the restoration process, they made a surprising discovery. When they removed the boards from the station's walls, they found the old ticket window with the ticket recess at the bottom, its glass still intact. Old tools and equipment used by the station staff were collected to recreate the atmosphere of the old station building. It's July, and Mr. Hashiba and his team are getting ready for an event starting the next day. Nostalgic posters from the Japanese National Railways days are displayed around the walls. In the warehouse, they found an old station sign that also dates back to the JNR days, so they decide to use that as well. Uh, It's the next morning. The old station sign is installed in preparation of the event. With the sign in place, Shikanotani Station emerges from memory to live again. Inside the old station building, postcards, tickets, and other related goods are for sale. Across from the platform, vendors sell yakitori grilled chicken, local produce, and other items. On the platform, visitors line up to buy traditional bento boxes. The most popular attraction is the pedal-powered trolley. This trolley was originally used to maintain the coal mine railroad in Yubari. Today, the participants enjoy riding it back and forth along the 100-meter-long track. The event, which ran for two days, saw Shikanotani Station crowded with people. More than 200 people, including local residents and tourists, came to the event. I'm 
僕らもやってよかったなっていうふうにやっぱり思いますね。Situated northeast of Sapporo City is the neighboring rural town of Tobitsu. The section of the Sasho line that ran through the town was discontinued in 2020. Now a unique project is underway on the site of the discontinued line. Here, the land on which the tracks sit has been subdivided. The idea is to build sheds on the land, leaving the rails intact. This initiative is being promoted by a local construction company as part of its rural home building project. In February 2022, this company acquired approximately 20,000 square meters of discontinued railway line, including approximately 1,240 meters of track from JR Hokkaido. On the land acquired, 423 meters of track was left intact. This section was divided into six blocks, earmarked for the construction of free use sheds. I can be a little bit of 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 a そういうシーンを作りたいなと思って、小屋派にしました。その辺は、うん、情熱と知恵とアイディアで別な扱い方っていうか、線路に別な使命が備わったらいいんじゃないかなっていうふうに思ってます。Before the sheds are built, a solid foundation will be constructed on the tracks. A more habitable model with insulation is currently being designed so that it can also be used during the winter. Mr. Sujino would like to encourage buyers to use the spaces freely. For example, they could be used as weekend hobby spaces or as ateliers for selling goods. In the case of Shikanotani Station, I loved how the locals decided to send that station back in time to attract new people to come. Hmm. Speaking of that case, I think it's important to look into the history of the entire city of Yubari, where railways played a very important role. And I think that's the reason why people are there still love the railway very much, although the railway was closed a few years ago. Yeah, that station will also look very different for people who used to commute and for people who are just coming in for the first time.、Mm, indeed. But here I should note one thing because、um, we can't spend a great amount of money for each of these projects because the local population is on the decline. There are not many people around. So a good idea is a very important thing. And to get a good idea, I think it's important to try to reach out to The people from outside to give them their own ideas so that we can have more ideas. And that is exactly what JR Hokkaido decided to do last year. They started an initiative to recruit ideas from outside and technologies to utilize discontinued railway lines. So let's see how that is going. Discontinued railway sites are long and narrow. In order to find new ways to use them, JR Hokkaido called for ideas from outside the company. The company is currently looking at a 16.1 kilometer section of the Yubari branch line and a 116 kilometer section of the Hidaka line. 
とオープンイノベーションの手法で外部からアイデアを取り入れ配線跡地で新規事業を創出する道を探るためということと,とまた新規事業の創出に関するノウハウを社内に蓄積したいという考えがありましてこのような取り組みを始めました。34 applications were received in response to JR's call. Proposals from six companies were selected. Currently in development are a wine cave, mural art, drone development, camping and glamping facilities, and a solar farm. All were adopted as ways to make use of the long and narrow discontinued railway site. One of the site's proposed uses was for drone development and flight training. Behind this proposal was a company from Tokyo that develops AI software using drones designed to inspect infrastructure. The software being developed uses AI to analyze images taken by drone to detect abnormalities. The company is trying to further develop the software using the discontinued Hidaka line tracks. The first drone flights began in September. という中で配線跡であれば線路の真上を飛べるということイコール写真がですねいっぱい手に入るというところで応募をさせていただきました。Mr. Suzuki and his team also have plans to offer the site to drone manufacturers to conduct performance tests as well as drone flight schools. Mr. Suzuki says he saw even more possibilities when he replied to JR Hokkaido's call for ideas. One idea would be to use the lines as flight paths for logistics drones. The idea to use a disused railway tunnel as a wine cave was proposed by a venture company in Tokyo. In general, train tunnels are great for storing products like wine and liquor because the temperature fluctuates very little. The company used a wine cave built in a disused railway tunnel in Yamanashi Prefecture, Japan's largest producer of wine, as a reference. The Chuo Main Line's Fukasawa Tunnel first opened in 1903. When a new tunnel opened in 2005, the local government obtained the old tunnel free of charge from JR East. It's now being used as a wine cave. Built 120 years ago, this brick tunnel is a valuable part of the railroad's cultural heritage. Inside the 1.1 kilometer long tunnel, the temperature remains constant throughout the year, which is perfect for the long term storage and aging of wine. 
up to 600,000 bottles can be stored here. In addition to the 440,000 bottles of wine stored here by local wineries, there is also a dedicated storage unit for private individuals. え、同じことを北の大地でえ、やったらどうなるかなっていうところに興味があったので、ワインカーブっていう形で提案してみました。なのでま、ワインカーブに限った話じゃありませんけれども、え、トンネルを活用できるよっていう事例を一つでも多く
The meal comes with a small bottle of sake that is exclusive to the train. In addition, two more types of sake are available on request. <laughs> Car 2 resembles a standing bar. From the service counter, passengers can order from 8 to 10 types of local sake from Niigata Prefecture, as well as soft drinks and appetizers. The counters by the windows allow passengers to enjoy the view. On the way, the train stops for about 10 minutes at Omigawa Station, located right on the edge of the coast by the sea. Many people get off the train to take pictures. It's a perfect photo spot. About three hours after leaving Joetsu Myoko Station, we arrive at our final destination, Echigo Yuzawa Station. Koshino Shukura operates mainly on Fridays and weekends, with one round trip per day. Thank you.